this little light of mine. It is a frigid weekday morning, but you wouldn't know it in the parking lot of Pope John the 23rd. We love school and we wear a backpack. The only thing brighter than the sun are the voices of bundled up students and their principal, Dr. Molly Cinnamon. Good job, that was awesome. Dedicated to making it a good day. Once the bell rings, it is a race up the stairs to classrooms and coat rooms to be in your seats for the morning announcements. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And it all feels very familiar. Indivisible. Because I was a student here too. We also have a very, very special guest today. Ms. Marie Saavedra is an alumni of our school. I spent kindergarten through eighth grade at Pope John and have all the old pictures to prove it. It is amazing how these halls look like they haven't changed a bit at a time when everything has changed. You, you look and you see like, man, I remember being maybe this tall enough to look at that. And, and I remember being excited to have my artwork hung up, you know? <laughs> exactly, and those are the things we're trying to really keep hold of, especially during all these times of change. Yes. To keep it as normal and as comforting as possible, right, for our kids. Yeah. Dr. Cinnamon calls those kids resilient because COVID has made things anything but normal. Nice job. Last year we were doing some kids at home, some kids here. You are on my lesson. Getting everyone back in person has helped foster more community. In a world where nothing feels certain, the staff have worked to make classrooms places that feel consistent and safe. I've never had teachers say to me, I can't, I won't, it's too hard, ever. If we are lucky enough, we have teachers whose impact stays with us. The good old days. One of mine is my eighth grade teacher, Danielle Goomeran, and she dug out the yearbook for our reunion. So you are cool, nice hair, <laughs> a good person, That's definitely. Very nice. That's very nice. A good runner. I don't know who I paid off to write that, but that, is, that has not been true in the rest of my life, let me tell you. <laughs> Mrs. Gumeran has 40 some years in education under her belt and through her work teaching history and civics, she is still shaping the minds of students. We are so proud of you and all of our students who make, who have whatever kind of success that they have, if they're successful in their job, but they're productive citizens who serve and that's what we want to do. Let it shine, let it shine. There is now this next generation to be proud of. Eager and willing to learn no matter what the world throws at them. Here we go, here we go. With a future as bright. Okay. As their voices.